வணக்கம் 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 மலேசிய தமிழ் பள்ளி மாணவர்களே உங்கள் அனைவரையும் பாரதி கிரியேட்டிவ் சேனல் பாரதி கற்பனை தளம் அன்போடு வரவேற்கின்றது மாணவர்களே எல்லோரும் நலமாக இருக்கின்றீர்களா இன்றைய இயங்கலை கருத்தரங்கம் உங்களுக்காகவே ஆங்கில மொழி தொடர்பாக நடைபெறவிருக்கின்றது ஓகே இன்னைக்கு இங்கிலீஷ் டென்சஸ் பற்றி உங்களுக்காக விளக்குவதற்காக ஆசிரியை ஜமுனா ராணி அவர்கள் நம்மோடு இணைந்திருக்கின்றார் ஏற்கனவே நம்ம ஜமுனா ராணி ஆசிரிய அவர்கள் உங்களுக்கு ஆங்கில மொழி இயங்கலை கருத்தரங்கத்தை மிக சிறப்பாக வழி நடத்தினார் அதன் தொடர்ச்சியாக இன்று அவர் உங்களோடு ஆங்கில மொழி தொடர்பான மேலும் பல விடயங்களை தன்னுடைய அனுபவங்களை தன்னுடைய கற்பித்தலை உங்களுக்கு வழங்குவதற்காக தயாராக இருக்கின்றார் ஆக நம்மோடு நேரலையில் இணைந்து கொண்டிருக்கும் மாணவர் செல்வங்களே வீட்டில் இருந்து கொண்டு நீங்கள் தொடர்ந்து கல்வி கற்க வேண்டும் என்பதற்காகவே நம்முடைய மலேசிய தமிழ் ஆசிரியர்களின் கற்பித்தல் தளம் பாரதி கிரியேட்டிவ் சேனல் இது போன்ற இயங்கலை கருத்தரங்குகளை தொடர்ந்து நடத்தி வருகின்றது நாட்டில் உள்ள பல ஆசிரியர்கள் திறன் பெற்ற ஆசிரியர்கள் உங்களுக்கு கல்வியை வழங்க வேண்டும் என்பதற்காகவே இது போன்ற ஒரு வாய்ப்பினை நாங்கள் ஏற்படுத்தி உள்ளோம் ஆகவே தொடர்ந்து இப்பொழுது நடைபெற்றுக் கொண்டிருப்பது நம்முடைய இயங்கலை கருத்தரங்கம் டூ பாயிண்ட் ஓ ஆமாம் இரண்டாம் கட்டமாக நம்முடைய மலேசியாவில் உள்ள பல தரப்பட்ட ஆசிரியர்கள் தங்களுடைய அனுபவங்களையும் தங்களுடைய ஆற்றலை பயன்படுத்தி மிக சிறந்த கற்பித்தலை உங்களுக்காக வழங்கி கொண்டிருக்கின்றார்கள் ஆக கருத்தரங்கத்தில் கலந்து கொள்ள மாணவர்கள் என்ன செய்ய வேண்டும் ஏற்கனவே ஆசிரியர் பல முறை உங்களுக்கு வலியுறுத்தியது முக்கியமான ஒரு விதிமுறை என்னவென்றால் கருத்தரங்கத்திற்கு தொடர்பில்லாத காமெண்ட்ஸ் இமோஜிஸ் போன்றவற்றை தயவு செய்து தவிர்க்க வேண்டும் ஆக ஆ வீட்டிலிருந்து நம்முடைய எங்களை கருத்தரங்கத்தை கேட்டுக்கொண்டிருக்கும் மாணவ செல்வங்களே நீங்கள் ஒன்றை புரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் நம்முடைய எங்களை கருத்தரங்கம் மிக சிறப்பாக எவ்வித தடையும் இல்லாமல் ஆசிரியர் கற்பிப்பது மாணவர்களுக்கு போய் சேர வேண்டும் என்றால் நீங்கள் என்ன செய்ய வேண்டும் எங்களுக்கு ஒத்துழைக்க வேண்டும் கற்பிக்கும் ஆசிரியருக்கு நீங்கள் ஒத்துழைக்க வேண்டும் ஆக தேவையற்ற கருத்தரங்கத்திற்கு தொடர்பில்லாத காமெண்ட்ஸ் கருத்துக்களை பதிவிட வேண்டாம் என அன்போடு கேட்டுக்கொள்கிறோம் மேற்கொண்டு நீங்கள் அப்படி பதிவிடும் பொழுது உங்களை நீக்க வேண்டிய சூழல் ஏற்படும் எனக்கு அதில் விருப்பம் இல்லை உங்களை நீக்க வேண்டும் என்கிற விருப்பம் இல்லை அனைவரும் இணைந்து கல்வி கற்கக்கூடிய ஒரு சூழலை நாம் இங்கு ஆரோக்கியமான முறையில் ஏற்படுத்தி கொடுத்திருக்கின்றோம் ஆகவே அதனை நீங்கள் பயன்படுத்திக் கொள்ள வேண்டும் மாணவர்களே ஆக இன்று நம்முடைய நேரலையில் கலந்து கொள்ளும் மாணவர்கள் இந்த கருத்தரங்கம் முடிவடைந்த பிறகு ஆசிரியர் தயாரித்த குயிஸ் கேள்விகள் நம்முடைய தமிழ் எடுக்கேஷன் ஆப் பிரைமரி எஜுகேட்டிவ் வாயிலாக பதிவேற்றப்படும் ஆக நீங்கள் அந்த குயிசை உள்ள கேள்விகளை மேற்கொண்டு உங்களுடைய புரிதலை நீங்கள் பரிசோதித்துக் கொள்ளலாம் ஆக இன்று நம்மோடு யார் இணைந்திருக்கிறார் என்று பார்த்தீர்கள் என்றால் ஆசிரியை குமாரி ஜமுனா ராணி அவர்கள் ஆங்கில ஆசிரியர் மட்டுமல்லாமல் அவர் கோல்ட் மெடலிஸ்ட் கூட நிறைய அனுபவம் வாய்ந்த ஒரு ஆசிரியர் ஆங்கிலத்தில் மாணவர்களுக்கு பிடித்த வகையில் கற்றுக் கொடுக்கக்கூடிய அற்புதமான ஒரு ஆசிரியர் ஓகே அவர் நம்மோடு இணைந்திருக்கிறார் ஓகே சர்டிபிகேட் பற்றி மாணவர்கள் நிறைய பேர் வந்து தொடர்ந்து முகநூல் வாயிலாக நீங்க கேட்டுக்கொண்டிருக்கின்றீர்கள் ஆக பதினோராம் திகுதி வரை நாளை மறுநாள் வரை நடைபெறும் ஏங்கலை கருத்தரங்கில் கலந்து கொள்ளும் மாணவர்களுக்கு நம்முடைய கழகத்தின் சார்பாக தேசிய அளவிலான இரண்டாம் திகுதியிலிருந்து பதினோராம் திகுதி வரை கலந்து கொண்ட அத்தனை கருத்தரங்கத்திற்கும் சேர்த்து உங்களுக்கு ஒரு நற்சான்றிதழ் வழங்கப்படும் இது ஏற்கனவே முன்பதிவு செய்யப்பட்டது ஆகவே இன்னும் பதிவு செய்யாதவர்கள் ஒரு முறை பதிவு செய்தால் போதும் நம்மளோட வேக்மினார் டூ பாயிண்ட் ஓ ஒரு முறை பதிவு செய்தால் போதும் அப்படி பதிவு செய்து கொண்டவர்கள் இறுதி வரை பதினோராம் திகுதி வரை நீங்கள் நம்முடைய எங்களை கருத்தரங்குகளில் கலந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் அதன் பிறகு உங்களுக்கு கட்டம் கட்டமாக நற்சான்றிதழ் அனுப்பி வைக்கப்படும் என இவ்வேளையில் நான் தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்றேன் ஆக நேரத்தை தாழ்த்தாமல் தொடர்ந்து நம்முடைய ஆங்கில மொழி எங்களை கருத்தரங்கத்தை வழி நடத்த ஆசிரியை குமாரி எம் ஜமுனா ராணி அவர்களை அன்போடு அழைக்கின்றேன் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் ஹலோ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஹவ் ஆர் யூ ஆல் 
Okay, students, uh, as usual, first of all, I would like to thank Malaysia Tamil Leader uh, Tamil Teachers Channel TV Pendidikan for Tamil and Bharati Creative Channel, which conducted by our masterpiece, Mr. K. Bala Murugan. Thank you so much, sir, for giving me this opportunity. So, students, are you ready for today's class? So, as usual, I want to introduce myself, as Mr. Bala Kumaran already in, uh, introduced about me. Uh, but then still, I want to introduce myself. My name is Miss Jamuna Rani. I'm an English teacher. Okay, we already learned a few tenses, which is past tense and present tense in the past, uh, past uh, webinar. So now we're going to learn simple future tense. Okay, students? All right, is anyone online? Okay, if you're online, I, okay, I, for sure, I think you will reply, okay, and you will be continually will be conducted and also keep in touch with teacher, right? Okay, so our Mr. Bean is ready. So hope you all are also are ready. Okay, are you all ready? Okay, let's go for today's lesson. Okay, students, are you looking at your screen like this? Like looking at the theatre? Like looking at the movie if yes please keep your things and prepare like this okay what i mean is prepare your notes prepare your stationery so it's easy for you to jot down whatever teacher give you in this lesson okay students all right all right by the end of this lesson you will be do you remember this Okay, is a uh, traffic light uh, rules, which is red color is informing you it's past tense, and green color will be the present tense, and the yellow color will be future tense. Okay. All right, students, able this uh, by the end of this lesson, you were able to differentiate the tenses, which is. Past tense and other present tense and other future tense na and other sorte and the differentiate when the ungu teri varo able to implement the correct tense in the sentence okay and able to answer questions in the English paper okay students <clears throat> okay before we go for future tense are you all remember what we learned last uh, time do you remember students we learned about simple present tense and we learned past tense. Okay, so teacher like to recall uh, previous lessons because I want you to recall the lessons so easy for you to remember and also you can implement in future exercises. Okay, and also easy for you to com uh, compare uh, what is simple tense, past tense and uh, future tense. Okay, so let's move on to present sim uh, simple present tense okay students i will go through very fast because this one this one we already learned last week so we go through very fast okay so singular na is m you know plural means we have to use r remember this okay so remember uh, remember students if it's a singular verb we need to add s okay if let's say the verb at, at the back got s s c s in the numeric working and the numeric words are in you have to add es so you can see the example and if the verb is at the back got y cancel the y and write i then write es example is over here okay and this will be the overall okay he she it is the singular now and the is spikino verb verb on the s spikino and you will use does okay as usual you will plus es for the do we there Ali and Bala many tigers which is plural even are piping it I even the first person remember that first person so you have to use back the uh, base verb upper M by you know you when the second person at the uh, same you have to use back the base verb okay students okay this is simple present tense Well, past tense. Okay, past tense is the past. Narendra Modi did it. Okay, so Narendra Modi did it. We should do that. No, I mean, say no. Ed, by you know. 
Okay, we have, let's see, yeah, students. Okay, singular, you have to use was. Plural, you have to use were. Okay, singular now when the verb when the uh, sorry singular and plural. Okay, both you have to use the verb. Okay, both you will use the verb. So you can teach a portal. And then you have singular and plural. Rendi me when the number verb when the ed by four. Okay, then he she is singular now when the was by panga plural now when the verb by panga. I when the was and were rendi me by panga. Remember, we have a regular verb and in regular verb. Okay, regular verb na 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 ed by a put upon. Okay, in regular verb na vande and the varte vande they will change to another verb or it will be changed some few letters. Okay, students, and you will use did. So singular in dalo plural in dalo we will use did. Okay, students. Okay, now let's go for the main topic of today, which is simple future tense. Okay, students, do you have an idea what is simple future tense? But I think in this title itself, already mentioned, already informed you what is simple future tense, right? So simple future tense. You know the teacher, after listening now, future. What is future? Remember, it is column. Okay, so you're going to learn about simple future tense. It is column. Okay. All right, let's see this, this one. What is this? Simple future tense. Okay, first, on the cat and dog, what they talk, the conversation of my bakla. First of all, you see the below. Functions of the simple future tense. The simple future refers to a time later than now. That's it. Like future. Okay, in other words. And expresses facts and the certainty. Okay, it's the future tense. Okay, students. Okay, let, now let's see what the cat said. I am so sleepy and tired. And Grumba took my kindred and Grumba Asidiago milk. So at the Gunda and the doctor said, I will get you some coffee. And the dog, Kaila, is it got coffee or not? No, right? Or the, is it the dog is doing? Is it uh, stealing the coffee? No. So what is the dog doing? The dog is going to do the coffee. I'm going to do a coffee. To the cat. It haven't happened yet. You know, Nadaka Vela and the dog in the solitary and a big calcopora result, he going. So, in the future, our end of the paper or solitary. Okay, so overall, Purjurgan and a student, so simple future tense now. Future, like in another composer, the feeling on the soldering, ill a predict pandering, ill a moody pandering. Okay. Okay, students. So this one, uh, I think you all understand what is shall and will. Now, uh, I mean, uh, I will recall again. Okay, I mean, sorry, I will recall to you all. So shall now and this is the same meaning as will. Okay, shall now and this is the same meaning with the will. So shall is by panga will. Oh, uh, sorry, shall and this we and I keep by panga. Okay, we are going to. It is by Pana. We, I, you, they, he, she, it. It is all to go by Pana. All other singular, singular, plural. Both we will use will and going to, or going to. Okay. So, shall when the is a pacific using. I mean, able to use for we and I. It's like a British language. They usually use shall for we, we and I. Okay. So if you want to use we will or going to also can be used. There's a no restrictions. Okay. Okay, students. Ready? I hope you're all ready. Let's go for next. Okay. When do we use simple future tense? When? Yepa number one, this simple future tense. No use pan lam. Okay, it's very easy, yeah, students. Okay, students, it's very easy. What is simple future tense? Let's see what is there. Okay, first one is going to. Okay, going to. 
So you see, eh, to talk about intentions, plans, things we have decided to do. Okay, so or the a thing that was well, intention to do, we already planned. Okay, like for example, you plan now. Okay, but you haven't do it. You haven't do it. You plan now. Okay, but you decided to do or maybe later. Okay, so we should then you want to do it. I mean, say for it. If you want to do it, you can say it. Okay, intention, you're going to do that. And we uh, should then you want to plan it. You can say it. Okay, like example, you can see, I'm, do, uh, sorry, I'm going to buy that house next month. So you already decided now, you're going to buy buy the house but when you're going to have the house next month only you're going to buy but now you already planned you already decided you understand students okay now you already planned it okay the action you haven't go and do it you will do it on next month but now you just only plan okay next will be i'm going to visit italy with my family okay so when you're going to visit Soon, very soon you're going to visit. We part it angla, you know be parkla. So you pay on now solid anga. He going, I mean uh the person going to visit uh Italy with the family. But when you pay and tell an be park for him, I don't know for okay students. Okay, next will be to predict the future using information we know now. Okay, so students other the future and the future doesn't need to be on the predict pandering. You already predict, okay. So example, you can see the example. I think it is going to rain. Okay. Okay, you're going to uh, you go outside, you see the sky. Okay, you saw already saw that sky is going. I mean the sky is, looks like gray color, it's going to rain. So you predict it. It might be not rain. I'll rain Okay, so it's yes or no or not. I don't predict punting it. Not a and tell and you predict punting. Okay. The next view, oh, the actor is going to fall on stage. Okay, and the actor on the on the stage lander Uluangla but then you can predict punting it. Because the actors look like something like uh, not normal. So you feel like the actor is like dizzy or something, it's going to fall. So then you pay predict punishing. Okay. Okay, next will be will. Okay. Model Sonal teacher Sonangla. Uh to predict the future using information we know now. Aduong in the will of the ore wishitika paikla. Okay, prediction when the going to kum paikla, will kum paikla. Red me when the uh, predict to the future when the use panla. Okay, so to, to make predictions about the future. So, I think I will buy the car. Nanani kire, nanda, wagnata, wangwe, apin sultan. Okay, you understand, students? So, in the ningan, I think I am going to buy. That car, apni kore ni use parla. Okay, rendi me ore arthan na. Okay. Next, to refer, to refer to decisions taken at the moment of speaking. Okay, which means, ning apda and vishit ande muri pandi. Appe muri pani appe and vishit ande sorring hai. Design pani sorring hai. Okay, like example, so someone want to buy a yogurt. So what do you say? Don't worry, I will buy the yogurt. Okay, so which means on the spot you're taking the decisions. You're not already, you're not planned. You're not planned at all. Okay, you're not planned. You're not having any predictions. It's like on the spot you are already decided to giving this answer. On the spot you decided to do this uh, th these things. So that's why you have to use will. Okay, like example, I put the Mary. Don't worry, I will buy the yogurt. Okay, students. Okay, next last. To make promises, okay. To make promises, offers, and requests, okay. Promises, you know, right? What is the meaning for promises? Offers, okay. Like some example, you're doing this. I will offer you this one. Okay, never mind. You just take it, okay. And request means you like asking help or you're asking something to somebody to do it for you, okay. This all we call as the request. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna regulate. Okay. We okay example barang eh? We sorry. Will you help me with my homework? Okay. Will you help me with my homework? Adalah tu. Enak kau tu homework lantau. Orang ni sharing lah. 
அப்படின்னு சொல்லி நீங்க வந்து கேட்குறீங்க ஸோ அது என்னது அது வந்து ரிக்வஸ்ட் ஒரு ரிக்வஸ்ட் எடுத்து வைக்கிறீங்க ஹெல்ப் பண்ணுறீங்களா அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஸோ தட் ஒன் வி ஹேவ் டு யூஸ் வில் அப்புறம் ப்ராமிஸ் பண்ணுறீங்க ஓகே ஐ வில் ப்ராமிஸ் யூ ஐ வில் கெட் ஏ இன் இங்கிலீஷ் அது ப்ராமிஸ் பண்ணுறீங்க ஓகே ஐ வில் ப்ராமிஸ் யூ ஐ வில் கெட் ஏ நீங்கள் ஏ எடுத்துட்டீங்கன்னா இல்லை பதன் ஒரு ப்ராமிஸ் அங்கே வந்து சொல்கிறீங்க அங்கே வந்து வைக்கிறீங்க ஸோ தட் தட் சென்டென்ஸ் தட் மூமெண்ட் தட் சுச்சுவேஷன் வி ஹாவ் டு யூஸ் வில் ஓகே ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் So remember, going to means now you plan, you haven't do it yet, okay? But you already decided everything, you're planning everything will be happening now. But you haven't do it. In the sale part, I don't know. And I decide one thing. Okay? Other going to. Prediction. Okay? Predict pan ring it. If you want to go to the next one, you can predict pan ring it. If you want to go to the next one, you will go to the next one. Are they married? On the spot, you're taking a decision and giving the speech or giving the reply to the person. That one, we have to use will. And the last one will be to make promises, offers or requests, you have to use will. Simple. Simple future tense. Simple future tense. Simple future tense. Actually, past tense, few, uh, present tense, we did simple future tense in the very, very easy students. Okay? Okay? That's why teacher will put a easy, uh, what do you call that, uh, a symbol over there. Not a symbol, a picture over there. Okay? Okay, now sentence formations. So, sentence formation on the students to remember, right? Okay? I already uh, taught you for the simple present tense and simple past tense. Now it's a simple future tense. Okay? So let's see how it's used. So positive, anything to say, it's a normal sentence. It's a, it's a fact. Okay? There's a no negative word, no word, question, okay? And the minus is equal, that's the one that's the negative. That's the no. That's the one that's the one that's the sentence. Okay? And the questions will be, questions, questions. sentences will form in the questions okay all right so you see young students as i told you as is for subject yaru ennadu okay will or shall okay and plus verb remember will shall going to normally when the, the verb won't be used any uh we won't add s we won't add ing we won't add anything we have to use back the original form the base form students ya machinga base form na enadu adavadhu nam ed seithirukku matum s seithirukku matum ing seithirukku matum nam vandu original word with the use panirukku okay so you see the sentence ah okay number one i shall go to the market tomorrow so eppa ning market pa poringa tomorrow So, you can say that I shall go to market tomorrow. So, I want the subject. Yaru. Okay, shall. Then go to. Where are you going to? Okay, go. What are you talking about? Did you use goes? No. Did you use went? No. So, original form of verb. Go. So, where are you going? Okay, market. Where are you going? Tomorrow. பார்த்தீங்களா ஸோ இது ரொம்ப முக்கியம் சப்ஜெக்ட் வில் ஷேல் ப்ளஸ் வேர்ப் வந்து இட்ஸ் வெரி வெரி பேசிக் ஃபார் இட்ஸ் அண்ட் எவ்ரி சென்டென்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ஃப்ரம் ஹியர் யூ கேன் ஆட் ஆன் வே யூ கோயிங் வாட் டைம் யூ டூவிங் திஸ் ஆல் யூ கேன் ஆட் பை யோர் செல்ஃப் பட் ரிமெம்பர் சிம்பிள் ஃபியூச்சர் தேனா நீங்கள் வந்து பாஸ்ட் டைம் சொல்லக்கூடாது எஸ்டர்டே ஐ வில் கோ டு மார்க்கெட் யா பிச்சிங்க இட்ஸ் ராங் ஓகே ஸோ ஃபியூச்சர்னா ஃபியூச்சர் பற்றி ஸோ டுமாரோ நெக்ஸ்ட் மந்த் நெக்ஸ்ட் டே அந்த மாதிரி நீங்கள் சொல்லலாம் கம்மிங் வீக் ஆ கேன் ஸோ நீங்கள் வந்து எஸ்டர்டே லாஸ்ட் வீக் இதெல்லாம் யூஸ் பண்ணக்கூடாது ஓகே ஏன்னா நீங்கள் சொல்லுவீங்க டீச்சர் யூ ஆர் த ஒன் ஆஸ் மீ டு புட் த டைமிங் ரைட் திஸ் வாய் புட் பாஸ்ட் டென்ஸ் வேர்ட்ஸ் ராங் ஓகே யூ கேன் அப் புட் லைக் தட் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் லூட்ஸ் வில் கோ டு லண்டன் நெக்ஸ்ட் இயர் ஓகே லூட்ஸ் வில் கோ டு லண்டன் நெக்ஸ்ட் இயர் ஸோ யா வச்சுங்க லூட்ஸ் வந்து இஸ் அ காய் ஒன் பர்சன் ஓகே இஸ் அ சப்ஜெக்ட் So, will. 
So go, original verb. Okay, base verb. Then to the London. Where are you going? You're going to London when? Next year. Okay. All right, next. Negative. The negative and the subject will, shall, adhukapurudam, you have to use not. Remember that, students, first subject, then only you will put will or shall, then only you use not. Then, after not, you will use verb. Okay? So, you see the example. So, just now we say, I shall go. So, you can go to the negative. I shall not go to market tomorrow. Next will be, Lutz will go the next. So, you can go to Lutz. Will not go to London next year. Can you understand, students? Okay, did you go for questions, huh? Okay, now how to make, how to form a question. A question is very easy. Okay, first of all, okay, simple. Jabraka, last time teacher told you, right? Okay, will and shall must be put in front. Okay, must be put in front. At the back, okay, you had to put the subject, which means zigzag, you know, in the in the uh, subject one this you will put at the back will will put in front okay so will shall plus subject then only you put the verb okay so i shall when this shall i okay students i shall go to market and shall i go to market tomorrow okay number two will lose go to london next year okay students okay let's go for going to they married up. So remember, students. Okay. Inga Vandu, Ningana Tulna Vandu. Subject class verb to be. Verb to, verb to be. Remember, students, verb to be is is, are, was, were. It's a lot verb to be. Okay. But this one is in present tense. And this one is future tense. And learn among the past tense order. Verb to be used for the other. Was, were. We have to use is a little ah. So here, Azim is going to visit his grandparents. Okay, Azim, subject, verb to be is, verb to be is, going to, going to visit his grandparents. Okay, next will be they, they now, we have used verb to be when the are used for So they are going to sleep. They are going to sleep. Okay, next, negative one. Azim is not going to visit his grandparents. Azim is... Okay. Students, actually, I don't know why it's not coming out. Here will be subject, verb to be... Uh, sorry, subject, verb to be, adhikapura uh, on the not, adhikapura on the going to work. Okay. So, example, parenge, Azim is, okay, Azim is going to, England, Azim is not going to, to visit his grandparents. Okay, they mean they are going to sleep, England, they are not going to sleep, okay? Okay, kilo on the question, so that, normal, same, okay? First, when the verb to be will be in front, after that, only you put the subject. Remember that, students, okay? So, verb to be, so Azim is going, in Gwanda, is Azim going to visit his grandparents? Okay, students, Purida. So, in Allah, Kaunama Paranga, Azim is, in Gwanda, is Azim. After that, they are going to sleep, in Gwanda, are they going to sleep? Ah, okay, students, come ready, you see, subject, verb to be. As a couple not, as a couple going to. Okay? So, you can ask questions on that. So, you can ask questions on that. Are they? When this, are they going to sleep? Okay, my students. Can you understand? This is how you have to form sentence formations. So, please remember that. First subject, then only you use will, will or shall. Okay, after a question, get prepared. Mother will shall add the proper subject. In you are they made it Subject first, then only use for work to be as the proper going to question. Use for prepare. Mother work to be as other is, other are as the proper done. In you are the 
as strike one of the subject bracket. Okay, students? Ready? Ready, students? Everyone? I think everyone fine, okay? Understand, right? Okay? Okay, let's go for next. Okay, let's see some of the examples to make you more clear, okay? Okay, example one. Arjun is not, uh, sorry, Arjun is to going by that house next month. Okay, in the end problem, can you all, can I identify or not? Teacher, I don't know how to do Arjun is to going by the house next month. Is it uh, correct? Is it a proper sentence? Okay, you know the sentence is going to Arjun is going to buy that house next month. Okay, so which one is correct? Which one is correct? You see, is the first one is correct or the second one is the correct? The first one is Arjun is going to buy. Arjun is to going buy. Okay, second one is, second one is Arjun is going to buy. So which one is correct, students? Okay, let's see. The first one is the wrong the second one is the correct as i told you remember first from the subject we you know subject arjun adukapra verb to be is adukapra going to adukapra da neenga vandu anga vandu verb vandu sekkanum okay students remember that huh? okay let's go for second example oh the actor on um, Go to fall on stage. In your case, the part of my example. Okay. So you see, your students. Oh, the actor are go to fall on stage. Okay. In your example, Baron. Oh, the actor is going to fall on stage. So which one is correct? Okay. First of all, going to either when you are confused and alone, you either which one you can be considered wrong, is wrong solution because the actor only one actor. So this is R ah, is wrong, right? So, this one will be the correct one. Is Adhikapro going to use Pannu? ING Kandipa use Pannu. Going to then fall on stage. So, the second one will be the correct. Okay, students? You can differentiate, right? Alright, good, good. Let's carry on, carry on to example 3. Okay, Rani will slap. Rani will slap. Okay, Rani will sleep. Okay, yes, it's not correct. Which one is correct, students? Rani will slap or Rani will sleep? Which one is correct? Rani will slap down? Wrong. Okay, Rani will slap down? Wrong. Because this is going to, going to and will use Panrapa, you have to use back the original form, base form that you use Panrapa. You cannot use past tense. Present ten when the uh, S by Kurade, E D by Kurade, past ten ke, e me by Kurade. You have to use back the same original word. Okay, so Rani will sleep down, correct. Okay. Okay, carry on. Okay, example four. Amen and his friends. Amen and his friends is the more than two people, more than one people, right? So Amen and his friends will going to play in the field. Uh, sorry, field. So let's see. Amen and his friends are going to play in the field. So, which one is correct, students? Will going to play in the field. Uh, are going to play in the field. Are going to play in the field. You either can use will, Elena, going to. You can use it either, these two. But you cannot use these two together. Teacher, I want to use both together, can? Of course, cannot. Okay? So, the answer will be, the first one is the wrong. Um, Amen and his friends are going to play in the field. You cannot use both together. Remember that. Okay? Alright, students, let's go for... Okay, let's do the, students, let's do some exercise. Okay? So, you already learned past tense. You already learned future tense. You already learned present tense. Let's do the exercise. Okay, number one. Okay, you see, uh, teacher will the moon column preacher. Okay. So first one will be simple present tense. Second one is a simple past tense. The last one be will be the simple 
future tense. Okay, so the verb that to give you is drink. Okay, inga barang eh, simple past tense na, past tense pa ikino, drank. Drink or a past tense on the drank. And simple future, uh, future tense na on the will drink. Okay, use back the base form. So inga on the na use pa naman. So simple pa, uh, present tense na, yun na use pa naman, students. Okay, correct na, students. I drink water every day. Okay, students. I drink, remember, I was the first person. So, you have to use the base form for the word. So, I was the drink water every day. Okay, second question, students. Come on. Go. So, mother the simple present and uh, mother simple past and perform. So go the past and when the went. So James went to the gallery last Sunday. Ide when the simple present tense. Yes, correct. James goes to the gallery every Sunday. Remember that students. James when the one person singular. So you have to use goes. Okay. All right. So, in the one here, students, simple future tense, James. In other, will go to the gallery tomorrow. Okay? So, if you think the differences for the sentence or the differences, okay, first present tense, you can see every Sunday. So, the action was happening every day. Still remember, every day, same actions you're doing. Every Sunday, the same actions you're doing. So, you have to use ES, first of all. Because James is one person, singular. Second is simple past tense. Remember, last Sunday. Last Sunday, which is already happened. So, you have to use when. Okay? The last one will be simple future tense. James, tomorrow. So, is it happened? No, not yet. So, you have to use a future tense. So, James will go to the, will go to the gallery tomorrow. Okay, students? Okay, number third. Play. Okay, simple present tense. They play netball because they were the... What is it? It's a plural. So, you have to use plural form which is a play. We cannot add S. Okay? And past tense, played with the... We have to add ED. So, they played netball. The last one will be the future tense. They, what is it, students? What will it be? Yeah, correct. They will play netball. They will play netball. Okay, number four. To be. To be, then another teacher, another net. Work to be, which means is, are, was, were. Okay? So, let's see what is it. Das and Lime. Das and Lime is two person students. So, it's a plural. So, what you have to use? It's a present tense. Huh? Remember that? Present tense. So, you have to use? You have to use? Ah. Correct. A-R-E. Ah. Okay. All right. Next. Simple past tense. Does is does and li may. Was up. Is it was, students? Correct. Is it correct? We use was. No, we have to use were. Remember that, huh? Okay, students. Are the past tense when this were. So does and me uh, li may were good friends. Okay. Next, the final one will be simple future tense. Okay, does and me, uh, Li Mei, will be good friends. Okay, they will be good friends. Last but not least, number five, bark. What is bark? Bark now and the uh, dog. Kurukura, satam. Okay, so the dog barks to a stranger. What is stranger, students? Stranger means a person that you don't know. You never, uh, you don't know who is the person. 
it's not your relative it's an unknown person okay it's an unknown uh, sorry it's a it's an uh, unknown person so that one we call as a stranger okay it's a uh, it's an uh, unknown person remember that student so the dog barks to a stranger simple past tense the dog barked to a stranger remember bark plus ed past tense okay the dog barked to a stranger the dog, the last simple future tense. What is it, students? The dog will bark to a stranger, which means you are telling to someone, and the dog when the stranger pata matuda kasto. Apne na tripak when the it's not bark. It's not a bark. Uh, it's the bark. Uh, the dog is not barking actually. It's just uh, looking at the person like that. Okay. Hope you guys understand this. Students can. So for your understanding, teacher separated, I put a simple past tense, simple future tense, and simple present tense all in one table. So you can differentiate what is the sentence about. So as I told you, you can differentiate. Okay? Okay, let's move on. Okay, actually, the answer is the answer. The answer the answer. Okay? The dog barked to a stranger. The answer barked. Will bark. We will play, we will go to, I drink, James goes, okay? This all is the, this all are the answers. This all are the answers. Remember that, huh, students? Okay, let's go for next. Okay, English exam paper. Okay, you will ask me, teacher, we learned this all. Where can we implement this? Teacher, exam paper in the teacher. We cannot see teacher. Let's see where is it, okay? All right, students, just now we learned this uh, all tenses, right? We try to do this one, okay? This one in your exam paper. Am I right, students? Especially those are going to, uh, those are in a standard four, five, and six. You know what is this? Those are in the standard one, two, three. You are have, you have to know also because you're going to uh, do this uh, part in the future, right? So let's see what is this. So students, this is a dialogue. This is, an, uh, this is a dialogue. So you have to write the answers. Okay, or I'll go to paste repair. You can reply. I'm aware. So other than you can put it. Okay, it's not to say very formal. Remember formal. Like example, good afternoon to respected father. That's not it. You can put Dad. Ah, and the Mary when the dialogue some of the in use part of it. But you cannot use uh two linear one, okay? So you see, uh, I feel weak in my body. So students, in the morning attending, yeah, in the past tenor, present tenor, future tenor, more than the identify parano. You have to identify first. Without knowing that, you don't simply go and answer. Okay? So you see, students, so first of all, we already know that it's a it's not a past tense. It's not a future tense. Yang selingnya feel past tense anda ada untuk felt pasir pon. Ide anda ada untuk future tense anda anda anggun tu ur will dan going to untuk. Yes, anak students. So here they use feel. So which means it's a present tense. Okay. Excuse me. So answer beri tu tu. I feel weak in my body. Okay, which means the person is not feeling well. So how are you going to reply, students? <coughs> Excuse me. How are you going to reply, students? You have any other sentences you can give to the teacher? How are you going to reply? All right, let's see. Yeah? Simple. Are you all right? Are you all right? Are you fine? And the marriage. Okay. So I'm gonna now and are you fine? Are you all right? And the K So on the K you get now that also I feel weak in my body. Which means something wrong, it's uh, not feeling well, it's uh, the person is sick. And the marriage. Okay. So in the parang teacher mana so good then first when the verb to be as a prudent subject, as a prudent when the penal when the verb lena place the other things you can go and add over back. Remember that. So 
now you know how to implement this students so this is how you have to answer it in your exam paper okay all right next will be let's pay him a visit let's pay him a visit you know to pay now when the buyer in bahasa melayu we, we say it, buyer right so are you going to pay the person something no pay him a visit means you are going to visit the person okay my, the person might be sick or the person is not feeling well or the person is in the hospital so you go and going to visit the person you understand or not student okay and the person is going to walam serile so ningbe paaka poringa and the matter also is pay him a visit illana and the person vandu enna solluvanga visit panna poringa edhukko or vishayathukaga okay so you see the person ah the the girl over there she telling something avanga or shudha sollirukanga ad reply da let's play, uh, let's pay him a visit okay ama illa the and the person vandu emo sollirka adukaga da and the reply vandu vandirukku and the answer let's pay him a visit so not the person say first not the let let's play, uh, pay him a visit mo solladuk appra avanga sollala so remember that ah so yaar mo pesirka adu mo adi adi identify pannadha mo so first the girl so and the girl ena solirpaanga adukku yen ivanga solirpaanga idu so teacher have a answer you see this one ah huh? okay so halim admitted to the hospital yesterday so halim yaracho or peru okay avanga peru subject students subject admitted why did you use past tense because adu oru vishayam nadandiruchi and the vishayam nadandhuk appuru dhaan vandha and the person solranga okay namma poi paapom avara poi solranga you understand na okay the 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 verb is already the situations already happened okay we cannot say illa nadandukitte irukidu nadandukitte irukidu so adanalada namba vandu poi paakrom no it's not like that okay so remember that the things the situation already happened after that only the person want to go and visit okay students so we have to use past tense over here halim admitted to the hospital yesterday okay admitted ni admitted sonale therinjikka vendidha adu vandu nadandu mudindhudu okay but extra for extra marks okay because they giving two marks remember students it's a two marks so you have to add on yesterday okay so for more detailed information that you given to the reader okay the last here's my umbrella okay students can you see or not here's my umbrella so enna solli inga enna solranga and the girl vand was uh, she was telling something she was telling something enna solran kandipa about rain right for sure she was talking about the rain okay so that's why the woman over there the lady over there she was replied here's my umbrella okay so enna varukku oh no it is raining you see it's very simple sentence right for this you will get full marks two marks for this you get full marks why you want to miss it am i right so in oh no when the in oh dear oh god it is raining so in the meaning when the really are for so in one or one cheating for in the thing like bang explanation explanation marks exclamation marks in pouring and then after now when you are telling something surprise or like you express express the feeling to the audience okay so remember this oh no it is raining this is the answer for num uh, alphabet c okay let's move on so let, just now we are just did some exercise which is part of exam paper okay now we going to upsr english exam sorry upsr english exam papers paper 1 and paper 2 together okay so you can ask teacher teacher uh, past tense present tense idla vandu basic thane ama is a basic but you will still they were asked in the exam paper okay in section a they were asked uh, around one or two questions okay one or two you can, uh, for example you can see question number 4 நீங்க நீ பாத்தீங்கன்னா பாஸ்ட் டைம் பிரசன்ட் டைம் பத்தி அண்ட் ஃபியூச்சர் டைம் அது வந்து டென்சஸ் பத்தி கேலி இங்க கேட்டிருக்காங்க பாருங்க ஓகே 1 to 5 question 1 to 5 they at least they will ask you one or two questions in the section a question 1 to 5 okay 
Can you see or not, students? It's over here. Okay, it's over here, number four. Okay, next. And question number seven to nine, question number seven to nine, students, they will ask, they will ask uh, one or two questions also. Okay, one letter, you the Kelly Wiggle with the senses with the candy paga, Okay, students, in example, you can see here, number eight. Okay, you can see number eight, but in the senses with the ED as is la. Past and present and all me get it back. But the key will have the prepositions, uh, conjunctions, the lack of the Okay, next question number 12 to 15. Okay, in your day, my 12 to 15. In your window, were two questions to three questions. Normally, it will be two. Okay, in standard, they will ask two questions. Maximum, they will ask three questions for the tenses. Okay, example, you can see here. Okay, number 12, tenses. 13, tenses. 14, also tenses. And 15, with the conjunctions. Okay, I think now, 12, 14, they ask about tenses. So, you learn this one. So, in your exam paper, you can do it then. Okay, so this is what we've done this is what we did uh, just now. Question number 21. Question number 21. Okay, A, B, C. Can you see your students? Okay, just now we learned about positive, negative questions. So you can implement that at here. Okay, so it is 8 ringgit. So I'm going to say So can I'm going to value of the am i right that's the logic right so how much it is okay so in the sentence structure how much it is so getting okay, getting a sentence structure by okay b mom i'm having a toothache so answer let's go to the dentist let's go to the dentist okay here also you have to see the past time present tense tenses in uni use pending Okay, in your bag again, you need to use pending if it go okay. So, are they very now? See, I'm sorry. Here, oh, sorry, he's out. Okay, so are they gonna give me? May I speak to you? Yeah, I probably so didn't get in the cake. So, that's the answer. So, students, everything will be included. Senses, so please, please take serious on this topic. Okay, and this will be the essay part. Okay, your writing. So, in section C. So, remember, students, whatever questions you do, uh, whatever questions questions you have, please read the questions over here. Either the title and more than in Allah Parchi, Purunji, you know. Okay, other Kapro, you see the verb, the verb, the words, the nouns, whatever they give you, please read and jot down. Okay. Please take note whether it's a past tense or present tense or it's a future tense. Okay. So past tense, in parang yang past tense pun juga idir ke, idir ke. Okay. So idir ke. So what is this? It must be a past tense writing. So ni kalau elder pun ada, semua me past tense lah dah. Ni kalau elder. Okay, students. So that's the clue for you. Okay. So lepas tu lah, teacher, how I can identify whether it's a past tense, uh, present tense. Oh, future like the dust or the net. Ning one day, either Muli Maga send you. You can identify from here. You can uh, see the word, see the word they gave to you, and you can conclude, you can come to a conclusion whether it's a past tense or present tense. Okay? All right. So, section C, La Badina, they have a two questions, right? But you only can answer one. Okay? You only can answer one, and you have to answer one. So, this is the question number one and this is question number two. So, question number two, look, are you married up? So, you have to identify whether it's a past tense or present tense first. Okay, first of all, you have to read the title, then read the instruction. After that, you see. So, you see, got rank, then got lined up, in particular, lined up. Then, after that, demonstrated. It's the ED, 
அப்புறம் இருந்து இன்ரெகுலர் ஒர்க் ஸோ இதெல்லாம் போட்டிருக்கு ஸோ விஷ் மீன்ஸ் இது வந்து பாஸ் டைம் ஸோ வென் யூ ரைட்டிங் சென்டென்ஸ் மேக் ஷியூர் யூ ரைட் இன் த பாஸ் டைம் ஃபார்ம் ஓகே ஸோ இது இதெல்லாம் பார்த்து தான் நீங்கள் வந்து அது சென்டென்ஸ் வந்து பில் பண்ணும் வெதர் நீங்கள் வந்து வாஷ் பேக்கிங்மா இல்லை எஸ்டே லாஸ்ட் வீக் இதெல்லாம் நீங்கள் யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் Okay, students. You see, teacher got highlighted. All right, students. So that's all for today. So uh, this is what you have to learn, and you have to take note in your exam paper. Okay. Thank you, students. Hope you enjoy the class. okay thank you thank you uh, teacher jamuna rani okay nikku uh, vande aangila engalai karutharangam kurippaga and future tense pathi miga sirappaga aasiri ungalku pala eduthu kaattukaludan pala payichigalodan ungalku valanginar nare per vande and aasiri kaatiya the tal exam tal vande and the kelvigal seriya theriyilla nu sonninga adu oru udharanam da endha endha edathula vande the future tense kelvigal varum vara vaippu irukku teacher udharanam da kaatnaanga இந்த கேள்விகள் அனைத்தும் வந்து நம்ம குயிஸ் மாதிரி செய்திருக்கோம் இந்த வெப் செமினார் முடிந்த கையோடு நீங்கள் தமிழ் எடுகேஷன் ஆஃப் பிரைமரி எஜுகேத்தி இப்ப நீங்க பாருங்க ஸ்கிரீன்ல போய்கிட்டு இருக்கு பாருங்க நம்மளுடைய பேஸ்புக் பேஜ் தமிழ் எடுகேஷன் ஆஃப் பிரைமரி எஜுகேத்தி ஓகே இங்க பாருங்க ஓகே பேஸ்புக் பேஜ் தமிழ் எடுகேஷன் ஆஃப் பிரைமரி எஜுகேத்தி இந்த முகநூல் பக்கத்துக்கு வந்தீங்கன்னா ஆசிரியர் தயார் செய்திருக்கும் குயிஸ் இன்றைய ஃபியூச்சர் டென்ஸ் பற்றிய குயிஸ் உங்களுக்கு கிடைக்க பெறும் அதனை நீங்கள் செய்து பார்க்கலாம் என்று படித்ததை ஒற்றி நீங்கள் செய்து பார்க்கலாம் ஆசிரியர் முதலில் காட்ட தாள் வந்து அஹ் எக்ஸாம்ல எந்தெந்த இடத்துல இந்த கேள்விகள் வரும் என்று உதாரணம் காட்டினாங்க சரியா அது சம்பந்தப்பட்ட கேள்விகள் உங்களுக்கு குயிஸ் வழியாக வழங்கப்படும் ஆக இன்றைக்கு சர்டிபிகேட் இருக்கா என்று கேட்டால் நான் முன்பே சொன்னது போல இரண்டாம் தேதி ஜூன்ல இருந்து பதினோராம் தேதி வரைக்கும் முழுமையாக தவறாமல் நம்முடைய எங்களை கருத்தரங்கத்தில் கலந்து கொள்ளும் மாணவர்களுக்கு மட்டுமே ஒட்டுமொத்தமான நம்முடைய தேசிய அளவிலான நற்சான்றிதழ் மின்னஞ்சல் வாயிலாக உங்களுக்கு அனுப்பி வைக்கப்படும் ஆகவே தவறாமல் கலந்து கொள்ளுங்கள் மாணவர்களே நாளை கணித பாடம் நாளை நம்முடைய மலேசிய தமிழ் ஆசிரியர்களின் கற்பித்தல் தளம் வழங்கும் கணிதம் எங்களை கருத்தரங்கம் நாளை ஆறு மணிக்கு நடைபெறும் மறந்துடாமல் மாணவர்கள் வந்து கலந்து பயன்பெறுங்கள் ஆகவே எங்களோடு இதுவரை இணைந்து மிக சிறப்பாக இன்றைய எங்களை கருத்தரங்கத்தை வழி நடத்திய ஆசிரியை குமாரி ஜமுனா ராணி அவர்களுக்கு வேலையில் நன்றியை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்றோம் தொடர்ந்து அவர் நம்மோடு எதிர்காலத்தில் இது போன்ற சிறப்பான எங்களை கருத்தரங்கத்தை வழங்குவதற்காக காத்திருக்கின்றார் ஆக எங்களோடு இணைந்திருங்கள் மாணவர்களுக்கு கல்வியை கொண்டு சேர்க்க வேண்டும் என்பதற்காக மலேசிய தமிழ் ஆசிரியர்களின் கற்பித்தல் தளம் பாரதி கிரியேட்டிவ் சேனல் தொடர்ந்து கல்வி தொடர்பாக பல நடவடிக்கைகளை எடுத்து வருகின்றது அதில் ஒன்றுதான் இந்த எங்களை கருத்தரங்கம் என்று கூறிக்கொண்டு நாளை மீண்டும் கணித எங்களை கருத்தரங்கத்தில் சந்திப்போம் மாணவர்களே எங்களோடு இணைந்திருங்கள் ஏறக்குறைய ஒரு பத்து நிமிடத்துக்கு பிறகு நீங்க தமிழ் எடுகேஷன் ஆஃப் பிரைமரி எஜுகேத்தி முகநூல் வாயிலாக வந்து இன்றைய பாடம் தொடர்பான கொய்ஸ் புதிர் கேள்விகளை நீங்கள் பெற்றுக் கொள்ளலாம் என்று தாழ்மையோடு கேட்டுக்கொள்கின்றேன் சில சமயங்கள்ல நம்முடைய இந்த லைஃப் ஓடிக்கிட்டு இருக்கா இல்லையா இந்த அந்த முகநூல் பதிவுல நீங்க வந்து காமெண்ட் பாக்ஸ்ல கூட வந்து பார்க்கலாம் கொய்ஸ் இடம்பெற்றிருக்கும் ஆக பத்து நிமிடம் பொறுத்திருந்து நீங்கள் பிறகு ட்ரை செய்து பார்க்கலாம் ஓகே நாளை மீண்டும் சந்திப்போம் மாணவர்களே உங்களிடமிருந்து நான் விடைபெறுவது ஆசிரியர் கே பாலமுருகன் மற்றும் உங்களுக்கு இன்று சிறப்பாக எங்களை கருத்தரங்கத்தை வழங்கிய ஆசிரியை குமாரி ஜமுனா ராணி மீண்டும் சந்திப்போம் நன்றி வணக்கம் தேங்க்யூ எவ்ரிவன்